Portable power generators, including welders with auxiliary power capability, are commonly used on construction sites and other outdoor work areas where the additional protection from electric shock provided by a ground fault circuit interrupter, GFCI, may be an OSHA requirement. Under certain conditions, an electric shock from 120 volts AC can kill depending on the length of the shock, path of flow through the body, amount of current, and the surrounding, i.e. damp or wet conditions. In many cases, an electric shock is received where a person touches a hot lead and ground. When this occurs, the current causing the shock leaks into the ground circuit. GFCIs monitor current flowing through the auxiliary power lines for leakage to ground, and they quickly turn off the electric current when they detect even very small leakage currents. GFCIs are more sensitive than other devices such as circuit breakers and fuses, and should prevent you from receiving an electric shock caused by ground fault. While GFCIs greatly reduce the likelihood of a dangerous electric shock when using equipment powered by a generator, you should understand the following limitations of GFCIs. The 120 volt GFCI offers no protection for 240 volt receptacles. GFCI will not prevent a shock if you touch both hot leads. A GFCI will not protect you from receiving a shock from the welding circuit. Standard safety precautions to protect against electric shocks must still be followed even on GFCI equipped machines. In most situations involving the use of portable generators, including on construction sites, OSHA regulations and the U.S. National Electrical Code require the GFCIs be installed on portable or vehicle mounted power generators with 120 volt AC receptacles. For many engine-driven power sources, GFCI kits are available from the manufacturer. Many engine welders come equipped with tow or more rectangular 120-volt, 20-amp duplex receptacles. There are also other commercial GFCI units available that may be installed or plugged into the receptacle. In any event, GFCI should periodically be checked for proper operation when installed as well as while in service. Test and reset buttons on the GFCI are for this purpose. When portable, engine-driven power generators welders are used to provide 120-volt power in construction or other outdoor locations, you should determine if ground fault current interrupters are needed. According to OSHA regulations, it is the employer's responsibility to provide GFCIs on construction sites, and if your welder is on a construction site, you may be the employer. OSHA inspectors check for GFCI on portable generators, so be warned. Space limitations will not allow us to fully cover all federal, state, and local regulations pertaining to the use of GFCI on auxiliary power generators. Our goal is to help you understand a little bit about GFCIs and when they may be required on 120-volt portable generators. For further information, write to OSHA for the following pamphlets. Ground Fault Protection on Construction Sites, OSHA 3007. Electrical Standards for Construction, OSHA 3097, and Controlling Electrical Hazards, OSHA 3075.